Let's go through a rally where the setter will get the first hit playing defense on a serve received. And it's as follows. <whistles> Team serves the ball. Boom. Immediately, setter then moves to the two and a half position. If the middle blocker is not going to get the very short serve, moves back. So we have outside hitter, one hit, one setter sets, two opposite hits that ball, three. And the opposite would be closer to the net, jump and attack. Shoom. Ball is alive on this team. Everybody on this team now moves to their defensive positions. Setter goes back here. Outside hitter moves to the left. Opposite to the right. Middle blocker front right here. And outside hitter here. Middle blocker here. Setter is defense. This other team goes through three hits. One, two, three. The ball is attacked and it comes straight to the setter. Setter then now gets the first hit playing defense. Setter then Bump receives that ball, yells either help or setters out, and guess who gets that second hit to try to set that ball? The opposite hitter right here, who would have been in this position already, two and a half, middle blocker backs down, outside hitter backs, gets ready to attack that ball. So first, second, then let's pretend that the opposite player just set the ball to the middle blocker right here. Middle blocker moves forward, and third hit gets it across. This is what happens when the setter gets that first hit playing defense, which is why the opposite, I like to label it as the quote-unquote setter's assistant. If the setter cannot get to that second hit, then the opposite comes to the rescue if and when she can. If not, any other player can help with it. Most importantly, the mentality when bump receiving or passing that ball on the first hit to the setter should not be, let me pass that ball to a specific player. In other words, if say for example this setter right here is Jennifer, you should not be thinking, let me pass the ball to Jennifer. You should be thinking, let me pass that ball to the setter area. And Jennifer, believe me, if she's a good setter, she will try her hardest to be in that area as much as she can or to get to that ball on the second hit wherever that pass ends up going. So if the ball ends up here or here or here, Jennifer will run all over the court to get to that ball within reason, of course. That's why the setter position is usually all over the court, typically. But say, for example, if the set is passed over to this area right here and Jennifer cannot get to it, most likely because Jennifer was the one who just received the first hit when playing defense, again, she gets the first hit, boom! bumps it over beautifully to the setter area, which is two and a half. Then the next player, the opposite, typically, is the one who's going to try to get that ball. So always think in terms of getting that ball to the setter area here as best you can.